commonly known by my nickname, JC. And I am a newly hired full-time barista here at 353 SMDF Paranaque Branch. And today, I am entrusted to do a coffee tasting activity, uh, my first coffee tasting activity, which I am happy to conduct with you. So, uh, as my uh, one month stay here at Starbucks, I have realized that coffee isn't just a drink, but it has become an important part not only for me, but for many people's daily lives. And it, is, uh, it has always been uh, at our core value to deliver our very best in all we do and to uh, commit to serving quality cups of coffee uh, for each of our customers uh, each day. And behind each cup, there has always been a coffee that has made a great and deep connection uh, to our lives through generations. The heart of most popular drinks here at Starbucks, the espresso roast. So to give you a brief history of the espresso roast, uh, the espresso roast was created and developed back in 1975 by a coffee master, David Olsen. And did you know that even time has passed, uh, its taste has never changed? Yes, it's a fact. And uh, it is the same beloved blend we serve to our customers uh, even after, even ever since uh, we have handcrafted our very first Starbucks latte. So to give you a quick description and uh, origin of the coffee, the espresso rose uh, is a special blend of beans from uh, Latin America and Asia Pacific. So it was darkly roasted to produce a rich, uh, uh, rich caramelly sweetness. This coffee blend uh, is processed to give it um, acidity, depth, and uh, an aroma of spices. So we can enjoy Starbucks espresso roast through uh, different uh, brewing methods such as be it through an uh, espresso machine to produce uh, an espresso shot or uh, through or latte or through uh, a coffee press pot or a coffee brewer machine. Today, I have chosen uh, to serve you this coffee with the uh, brewing method uh, through our uh, French press. Uh, with our French press, we have taken consider the four fundamentals for uh, brewing great tasting quality coffee. So, namely, uh, proportion, grind, uh, water, and freshness. With the proportion, we have made sure to uh, use 180 ml of water per 10 grams of coffee. So, in this uh, French press, uh, French press, we have used 540 ml of water since uh, this contains also uh, 3 scoops or uh, 30 grams of coffee. For water, uh, uh, we have used, uh, we have made sure that we have used uh, uh, clean filtered water and we have to make sure to use uh, the proper temperature for the brewing method which we will use. So for this method, we have used a uh, hot clean filtered water. For the, for the grind, we have to make sure that uh, the grind we will be using is uh, correct and appropriate for the brewing method that we will uh, also do. So for this uh, press method, we have used a uh, coarse grind for the coffee. And for the freshness, we have uh, also made sure that the coffee was stored properly to maintain its freshness and maximize its taste. As we move on with the, before we move on with the coffee tasting activity, it is important to take note or consider the four, uh, the four steps of uh, tasting coffee. Uh, namely, uh, smell, slurp, locate, and describe. So, this will serve as guide in order for us to uh, identify and experience each tasting characteristic. These tasting characteristics consist of four uh, important characteristics which are namely uh, acidic, aroma, acidity, body, and flavor. So, uh, this will serve also as guide in order for us to complete the taste profile of the coffee. So, uh, uh, aroma is how the coffee will smell for you. Uh, acidity is the lively touch sensation you will feel it. Uh, 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 at the size and tip of your tongue and uh, body is how the coffee will feel inside your mouth or how the coffee will uh, weigh inside your mouth.
up and the flavor is how the coffee tastes to you or how you can correlate it with another flavor that might resemble uh, it to you. For example, if a specific coffee tastes like nutty, caramelly, or um, it also can be floral or citrusy, uh, such as that. So without further ado, and uh, with, uh, with these things uh, discussed and considered, we will now proceed with the coffee tasting activity. So, uh, we will now uh, get our cups of coffee. So, as uh, stated earlier, um, the first step is to uh, smell the coffee. In smelling the coffee, it is important to take note that cover the half of the cup in order for us to properly inhale and uh, maximize the aroma of the cup. So as I smell this coffee, what I can say is that it has a strong dark aroma with, with hints of cocoa. It also resembles me a smoky aroma which, that I can associate when toasting mugs. So the next step after smelling is we slurp the coffee. So when slurping the coffee, it is important to take note to slurp the coffee loudly, as loudly as we can. Because it is will uh, spray the coffee inside uh, our mouth and it will reach the zones of our tongue and palate. And this will also allow us to properly identify, locate, and describe the tasting characteristics of the coffee. So let us now slurp the coffee. As I slurp this coffee, what I can say that it has a full body because of the high concentration of the coffee. I can also tell that it has a medium acidity because of the lively tangy sensation that I feel at the size and tip of my tongue. And it also has a bitter aftertaste because that lingers at the back of my palate. So slurping again for the, to describe its flavor. So, as I slurp, to, uh, what I can say for the flavor that uh, it has a rich, nutty uh, sweetness that I can associate with the sweetness of the caramels. And it also has hints of cocoa and toasted nuts. After uh, having uh, done the, uh, or followed the four tasting steps of coffee and the uh, four tasting characteristics for describing coffee, uh, we can now conclude and complete the taste profile of the espresso. So, as a summary, uh, espresso rose has a strong dark aroma. It has a full body, uh, medium acidity, and it also has flavors of rich caramel sweet. We move on we will now uh, pair the coffee with uh, food so uh, as if, uh, espresso rose is popularly uh, and best paired with uh, caramel uh, chocolates and nuts so I have here prepared for you uh, our chocolates caramel popcorn papers or and also mixed nuts so, what we will try here uh, is a chocolate uh, pretzel or chocolate stick to partner. You can also choose what you like so you can know the, the difference. So uh, in tasting, uh, in, pre in pairing the coffee with the food, it is important to take note that to take a sip of the coffee first and then you take a bite of the food and then you take again a sip of the coffee. What I can say when pairing the coffee, espresso rose, with the chocolate, I can say that the chocolate uh, really complemented well with the coffee because it added sweetness and the, it also uh, had uh, contrasted well with the coffee because the chocolate is sweet and the dark rose is somewhat uh, has a bitter taste. So this really, these two really uh, go together well, go well uh, together when paired. So 
So, uh, you might ask me why I chose Espresso Rose for my first uh, taste coffee tasting activity. So, I chose Espresso Rose because of its consistency and ver uh, consistency in taste and versatility that it can be uh, uh, gone under through different brewing methods and uh, also through different uh, recipes. So, espresso, uh, I, I can correlate the consistency of the espresso rose with us uh, baristas because we baristas uh, consistent, consistently uh, deliver our mission and values to our daily lives uh, for our customers and for our partners. So, espresso rose, uh, Espresso rose uh, can go through uh, any brewing method and uh, also as baristas we go through different challenges and obstacles each day and what is important is that we learn from these challenges and we manage to shine and uh, so by this, these challenges only proves us to, to be great quality cups of coffee which is a metaphor of course. With the versatility of the espresso rose, I can correlate it with us baristas, baristas and partners because of uh, the way or the how we prepare ourselves uh, each day for the to, for the customers to provide their needs and also to provide the Starbucks experience, making them feel special not only for our customers but also with our partners. Again, I am JC from 353 SMB Paranaque, and it's such a wonderful day and experience that I have shared this coffee espresso rose 